I come out and I just make stuff all day long, so. Tony Cray has a pretty easy commute. And it's kind of like dipping up honey on a stick. And a job. Some days it's a love-hate thing. He usually loves. But what he does isn't exactly what you would call easy. Sometimes your fingertips get so hot, it's just like, it, they're, you just want to scream. But, um, but you've got like one chance to get it. it. But rather something he literally sweats over. And sweat happens when, thing, when you're a couple of feet from 2,000 degrees. You see, for about 12 hours a day. So Jeremy, ready to go? This team of two. But you can't wear gloves because then you can't really turn the pipe, you can't feel it right, so. Turn. Uh, Really, seconds are kind of critical. And twirl. <laughs> Hollow stainless steel pipes to create one-of-a-kind pieces of blown glass. It, it ultimately, it always wants to behave the same way. Come out of the furnace screaming hot and get cold. You know, that's what it wants to do. But with Tony at one end. Okay, go again. And Jeremy at the other. Each piece is very carefully crafted into something colorful. My wife says, you know, after all these years, don't you think you'd know how to make a bowl by now? <laughs> you know? But the bowl shape is really an incredibly hard shape. Even though the process... Okay, one more time. ...tends to leave a bad taste in their mouth. You know, you learn to ignore it, you know? But yeah, you taste it. <laughs> it's a flavor Tony's gotten used to over the last 20 years. This is ultimately going to be the bottom of the vase. I guess it's one of those things... But yeah, out there, your hand's just cooking. ...that goes with the territory. You did buckets of sweat, just gobs of tears, you temper, temper tantrums, and uh, that kind of thing. The sweat, however, can be detrimental. Just a sweat pall off your nose will, can, you know, crack the piece. So we towel off of it before we put it away. And as far as the singed eyebrows and arm hairs. And, and they just grow back with endurance, you know. Maybe that's the real reason they say art is painful, but Tony's work is definitely easy on the eyes.